So I'm going to talk to you about lifestyle and boundary setting. Now, what are boundaries and how do you become aware of yours? Boundaries are limits or rules that you set yourself in relationships and interactions to protect your well-being and integrity. They define what's acceptable and unacceptable behaviour from others, helping you to maintain a healthy balance between your needs and their needs. So how do you become aware of your boundaries? Well, self-reflection is a good start. Taking time to reflect on past interactions and experiences. Identify situations where you felt uncomfortable, stressed or violated. These instances can highlight where boundaries are needed but not set. Listen to your emotions. Pay attention to your emotional responses. Feelings of resentment, discomfort or frustration can indicate that a boundary is being crossed. Identify your values, clarify what is important to you. Boundaries often align with your core values and priorities. Assess your needs, understand what you need to feel safe, respected and valued in relationships. These needs form the basis of your boundaries. Seek feedback. Sometimes close friends and family can provide insights into areas where your boundaries might feel too loose or too rigid. How to optimally set boundaries. Now, setting boundaries can be challenging due to the emotional ties and long-standing dynamics, but it's crucial for healthy relationships. So firstly, define your clear boundaries. Be specific what behaviours you will and will not accept. For example, I need you to call before visiting or I'm not comfortable discussing this with you. Start small, begin with less contentious boundaries to build confidence and gradually address more significant issues. Be consistent. Consistency is key to enforcing boundaries. Follow through on the limits you set as inconsistency can undermine your efforts. Use I statements. So frame your boundaries using I to express your needs without blaming others. For example, I feel overwhelmed because X, Y, and Z. Prepare for a pushback. Understand that family members might resist changes initially. Stay firm and patient as they adjust to the new boundaries that you've set. Prioritise self-care. Ensure that you are taking care of your own emotional and physical well-being. This might include setting aside time for yourself away from family obligations. So how to communicate those boundaries with others kindly and respectfully. Effective communication is the key and it requires clarity, kindness and respect. So be direct and clear. State your boundaries clearly and directly to avoid any misunderstandings because vagueness can lead to confusion and non-compliance. Choose the right time and place. Discuss boundaries in a calm, private setting where both parties can focus without distractions or stress. Use positive language. Frame your boundaries positively. Instead of saying, don't call me late at night, try, all calls need to be in before 6pm. Express empathy and understanding. Acknowledge the other person's perspective and feelings. For instance, I understand you care about me and want to help but I need some space to handle this on my own. Stay calm and respectful. Maintain a calm and respectful tone, even if the other person reacts negatively. This sets a positive example and helps de-escalate potential conflicts. Reinforce the consequences. If boundaries are repeatedly crossed, if boundaries are repeatedly crossed, calmly explain the consequences and follow through if necessary. For example, if you continue to do this, I won't open the door next time. And seek a mutual agreement. Where possible, involve the other person in finding a solution that respects both parties' needs. This brings cooperation and understanding. And by following these steps, you can establish and communicate your boundaries that protect your well-being while maintaining respectful and healthy relationships with others.